you want? Pillars for your head. I got playing cards, straight decks, or peanut knuckles, highballs, or hot coffee. Hurry, hurry, this is my last day, and after this, I'm through. Get on or get off. I said, 
don't move this train. I think the lady, Grace VIP, said, don't move that train. And also, until she finishes farewell to her family reunion relatives, I, her cousin Lincoln, from the artistic archives of Hollywood, as its first universal, unique movie star, do hereby himself in person as Stephen Fisher. Agrees with her that you don't move this train. Thank you, Mr. President. Now y'all take care of yourself, like, and don't do that to me. Ain't German like. 
No, I did a lady that. <laughs> Look how vulnerable. Let me hear you say that. One more time. Look out, bottom of Well, look out, bottom of Look out, bottom of Look out, bottom of Hey, Grace, you know, you know the first thing I'm going to do? Bye. I'm going to raise me some hell. Not in my house. I don't like no gambling, cursing, and playing cards. And, and, and using the Lord's name in vain in my house. Yeah, but what about dancing and singing and, and entertaining and playing pretty for the people? Well, I guess that's all right, unless it's on Sunday. Well, today ain't Sunday, is it? No, it was. I'd be in church. <laughs> well, look out. Look out, boy. color to me. And he ain't running for no mayor. You know what I believe? What? I believe this is some kind of trick. That's what I believe, too. Ain't no color man running for no mayor. Oh, I've heard tell of it before, but not right next door to me. Ain't nobody want that old house. Been up to sale for 99 years. Grace, what do you think? I think we ought to see about this. That's what I believe, too. Yeah, we better look. Yeah, give me a chair. I'll hang it up later. I'll hang it up later. Just lay it here on top, top of my head. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. You know one thing? What's worrying me? Who is them people living next door to me that I don't know nothing about? I don't know about them people. Hey, son. Bring, bring, bring me that shopping bag. Yell some, yell some as fast as I can. <laughs> He's so used to it. He just can't get away from me, that's all. Ah, I didn't mean to talk to you like that, son. I forgot this was your last day. Oh, that's all right. Just fix me another plate and everything will be fine and mellow. I'm going to fix you. Uh, go on in there and sit down. I have it ready in a minute. That child teeth of me. It makes him see, you know, that's worrying me. Them people next door to me, and I don't know nothing about them. I like to know who's around me. Don't sound right, I know that. It sure don't sound right. That's a good piece of chicken. That old, that old, that old, that old, that old. Yeah, that, that's, that's nice. That looks nice. Now, here you go. Oh, no, son, don't sit there. And that chair, no, that's my grandma's chair. I'm kind of particular about that. I'm afraid you might break it. That's all right. You like a whole lot of salt or a little bit? 
half and half. Mm -hmm. I guess that's enough. Now that ought to hold you. That's good. Down home chicken and piece of made tater salad. <laughs> ah, that's good. That's good. You know that house over there? What is me? I don't see nothing over there. Oh, eat your chicken and take your time. Well, I got time. I got time. Time to say evening to a maiden grave. That's too much dining room for that house. Well, look at here. Well, blessed be his name. And twice blessed be whoever got to buy that gal's liquor. That comes oh, twice blessed be now. And he's blessing her, too. That must be Welton J. Walter. Yeah, the next mayor of Baltimore. Ain't he laying it on him? Yeah, he's blessing her, huh, too. Good evening. Ain't that a kick in the head? I ain't gonna stop you, is it? No, and it ain't gonna stop you neither. This means war. Well, let's get out of here. All right, come on. All right, start something now. Put that ball away and hurry up. Never mind. Look, go to the door. Fix your hair. Fix your hair. Hurry up. Just wait a minute. Don't tell me to wait a minute. You go to the door. Go to hell. Go to the door. You just wait. Day in the morning. Just wait. The time. This is the right time to get sit the roast killer in the can. If Ray don't get it, you sit it. Just put the can in your hand, and when that bug comes out the rug, make a direct hit with zip. Zip don't quit to that roast killer in the bug. Just zip a minute. Stop to that roast drop. Zip ain't even to that roast Who is it, Creole? Every bug it's Mr. Annenberg here. I haven't come right. Wait a minute. This is the right time to get Right in. Riola. Oh, Hi, Tim. Vision of beauty. <laughs> Welton. How are you, Welton? Jim, it's good to see you. How about a martini? Good idea. I'll get it, Jim. Just make yourself at home. Ah, oh, Creola, you're a love. Mm. Isn't she great, Jim? She's great, just great. And she's really pretty and a gem, and I really mean that. Yeah, she's been so sensational. Moving here and everything. Well, listen, that's real courage. You two must be scared silly living in this neighborhood. Well, remember, I can talk the language. Yeah, yeah, I guess you can. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? A white man. Now then, well. Ah, nectar of the gods. <laughs> Boy, doesn't she look great. <laughs> okay, now we can talk. Then, just to remind you what the mayor says, you take the black boat away from that very voice, Collins, and that means you campaign hard, and that means you campaign successfully, and you've got yourself $10 million. That's not $10 million in my pocket. No, it's not in your pocket. Who in hell or Baltimore is going to just hand you $10 million, Welton? But you know as well as I do that if you're in charge of a $10 million urban renewal program for four years, I think you can find ways to get a certain chunk of that money into your pocket. Whoosh! <coughs> Besides, I know you always want to do good for your people, Welton. You just think how much good you can do with that kind of money at your disposal. Handle $10 million right, and you've got power. That's all I need to know. 
right now. I hope so. Why? Because you are heavy. Sure, there's a little deception in it. But the ends, Welton, the ends. You know what they justify? Yeah, I know what they justify. All right. All right. Now, we shall decide where you do campaign and where you don't. This ain't gonna do no good. Oh, I shut up, Mr. Driscoll. Well, I can't go through your wall and their wall, too. Have you got a better way? Yeah, yeah, come on, come on, come on. I knew my man would have a better idea. I do want you to know, Welton, that moving in here was a stroke of genius. Pure genius. The mayor loved it. Well, Jim, I have to be with the people. Fine. Just get out of here right after the election, because I don't think Excuse you're gonna... Excuse me. Anybody ready for another drink? Ah, uh, no, thank you, hon. I'm afraid I've got to really take off now. Oh, really? Well, I'm gonna have another one. I think Jim's in a hurry, Creola. So am I. Another drink. Maybe we should talk a bit more. We've been over everything. I know what you want. Yes, but does she know it? That's what I want to know. Does she know it? She is my concern. Only my concern. I'm not a concern. You're my concern until this election is over. My wife is never a concern of yours. You understand that? You understand what I'm saying? Now, you listen to what I'm saying. She ruins your life, that's your problem. She does anything to ruin this campaign, that's my problem. Now, look, man, you mention my wife one more time, and I'm gonna have to go to the street on you. Go ahead, go ahead. Where do you think I was raised, in a fairy castle? Now, you listen to me. You know, I've seen all them big-time singers. Couldn't sing half as good as me. Jimmy Russian, Cap Calloway, and Louis Jordan waited on them. Dancers, too. Bill Robinson, dancing, dodging, doing his old dance called the Fit. Everybody, Butterbean and Susie, had both of them once. Of course, they'd speak to me, but they had some old kind of air about them, because. They could just tell by looking that they wasn't good as me. Couldn't sing as good, dance, or tell jokes, neither. Not half as good as me. Indian, Puerto Rican, white, anything but what she was. Now, how do you think that's gonna go over with your militants, huh? Don't worry about it. How do you think that'll go over with anybody? Look, I said, don't worry about it. Now, look, Welton, I'm trying to keep you from hurting yourself. You've got a chance now, to look, do something. look, Annenberg, I don't need you to you tell me. You need me. You need me to tell you this. Now, it isn't anything against your wife. But if she drinks a lot, she talks a lot. Now, this business of her trying to pass, small as it may seem to you, if the papers get it, if the people get it, you're dead. No job. No 10 million. Welton, you don't have to like me to listen to me. Watch her. Good night. Puerto Rican. I changed my name, my makeup, my hair, and I tried to speak some Spanish. White. Those blotches on my skin you used to ask about? Guess you never heard of Dr. Palmer. Hmm. Dr. Palmer, skin lightener. I'll see you in the morning. I was only 17. I went crazy for a year. Creole. Everybody was 17 at one time. 17 and dreaming. Hey, Creola. What? I, I was 17 one time. 
And guess what I was going to be? What? The mayor. The mayor of Baltimore. I was going to be the best mayor this city ever had. I was going to be honest and straighten everything out. I really meant it. My father lost his job at City Hall because he didn't play the game. And I was 17 that year. And I swore there wouldn't be a game when I became the mayor. So I went on to school. And I prepared myself. <laughs> Two law degrees. Two of them. One of them is a master's. I learned city government inside out and back. But then I found out what I needed. Money. Big folks, money. They didn't give it out to us. Not here in Baltimore. They don't do that here, Criola. 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 Well, you're either asleep or passed out drunk. I don't know which. What's so weird is, I care. I don't want to see you drunk. I don't want to run for mayor so someone else can win. I'm quiet as it's kept. That business about you passing doesn't mean hill of beans. Doesn't mean a thing. What's making all this happen is all that money under me. And you? Sweet baby, you think it's you. You folks gotta excuse me for putting this microphone down your chimney, but I was in the signal call and show business too, and I know more about microphones than anybody in any place. And what I'm doing here now is more like fishing. Because I never know when I'm going to catch me something good and big and worth a heap. A heap of what I want. Father, you know this is your work that I'm doing. Because if I was just meddling in somebody else's business, it wouldn't be long before. Before you'd be working in mysterious ways, your wonders to perform and wind up performing a wonder upside of Mama's tears head. But, Father, you know as well as I do, ain't no white man got no business in no colored folks' house this time of night. But like I say, you know this is your work that I'm doing, Father. You know this is your work. Your work, Lord. I want to always do your work. I want to always do your work. Ah, look at that. The moon's on me. <laughs> do a dance. Sing a song or tell a joke. <laughs> the moon's on me. <laughs> no, not now, not now. Excuse me. You get to excuse me. I'm the one that sneezed. Thought you were asleep. Or passed out drunk, you didn't know which. Padre! Padre! Come back quick! What's going on? Get stained wet. Oh, close it, Words. What do you expect? <laughs> we gonna find out.
something down. Good Lord. Let's listen. I know you heard me. Ain't that them? I want to know everything. Everything they want. They want Wells and Jay Waters for $10 million. Wells and Jay Waters who made it. Both for Wells and Jay Waters. Waters is running, baby. He's running with you. Running hard, fast, can't finish last. Welton's gonna win when you put him in. The wells don't run dry with Waters right tight. Put him in the chair. Make him the man. Welton, Jay Waters, the man. Just need me because I'm going over there. I'm going over there. I'm going to shut his mouth, his eyes, his nose from here to here. After. Grace, 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 wait a minute. Wait now. No, no, no wait me. That man don't mean nobody no good. He don't mean my people no good. He's a liar, his feet stink, and he don't love his Jesus. Oh, I said wait, woman. Just listen to me for a minute. Sit down over here. Ah, listen oh, to you. I'm not going to talk yeah, all the time. Just listen to me. Sit down there a minute. I don't know. I know what you you know what no, no, wait, 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 yeah. no, that man is running for the mayor. He ain't. Let me talk. Go ahead and talk. The man is running for the mayor. Now, I don't like what he's doing no more than you, but he's running. You understand? And I've been thinking all night long when I was in that other room. So I might get some sort of a chance. Go ahead and talk. I might get a chance. You see, years ago, I spent some time on the stage. See, I do my dance, and everybody said, go ahead. I sing my song, and they'd say, sing it. And I'd tell my jokes, and everybody just fall on the floor. <laughs> uh, then I don't know. Some hard times came. I started working on the railroad, waiting on white folks, color too, high yellow, brown skin, high-class blacks. And here, this man is right next door. Now, you gotta have a big campaign. Somebody got to entertain and draw the crowd for him to talk to. Oh, man, don't be no fool. Oh, I ain't no fool. All I need is a chance. Yeah, Fort Whitt yeah, Wilson was way ahead of his time. Yeah. Anybody tell you that, everybody like my stuff, all yeah. the big producers. Silence Green from New Orleans. And he pat me on the shoulder once. Because of what I did, Grace, I sung, Hey, big dancing boy, what you gonna do when it's your clothes? Hey, big dancing boy, what you gonna do with your shiny toes? You gonna tap down the alley to your first floor red to find yourself being day old beer? Hey, big dancing boy, tell me what you gonna do. See, Grace, I sung that. And then I did my dance, see? Now, this is what I'm gonna do at the campaign. You ain't never seen me do this before, Grace. Watch this. That's enough. That's enough. That's enough. Stop dancing on my with nose and wear mine to nose your mouth. I just bought it. <laughs> I can see those people now. 20, 30, 40,000. Watch it on Fort Whip do it. Go ahead on Fort Whip. And you're going to be there, Grace. Grace Teasdale Grinder. Yeah. And you're going to be saying, everybody, I know him. That's my friend. My singing, dancing gentleman friend. Hey, Grace. Hey, Grace, let me go over and talk to the man. Let me go over and talk to him. Just let me right. Let me go over and talk to the man, Grace. If it'll do you any good, go ahead. Oh, you a good church, go Sister ahead. Grace, these days, Grandma. Woo! Woo! Twenty, thirty, forty thousand. Watch me on Pope Whip. Yeah, right. Go ahead, Pope Whip. Say good luck. Good luck. All right. Good luck. Lord, good luck. Tell on Rudy, how you gonna tell that the goose done died? Don't seem to me she's gonna split her side. Hey, Mr. Funny Man, tell me what you're gonna do. Hey, Daddy, write you a song. I, I wanna see the man. Come in.
Well, Tim, this is the neighbor. Oh, I'm not just an ordinary neighbor, Mr. Mayor. Well, I'm not the mayor yet. Oh, uh, you're the mayor as far as I'm concerned. Now, you might hear telling me, my name is Fort Whit Wilson. Uh, uh, yes, Mr. Wilson. Uh, what, what can I do for you? Uh, I see you don't know nothing about show business, because if you did, you wouldn't be asking Fort Whit Wilson what he could do for you. You understand what I'm saying? Now, Fort Whit can do this for you. That's, uh, that's wonderful, uh, Mr. Wilson, but I'm not a stage producer. I know that, but I can see you got a good eye. You had to have a good eye to pick this pretty lady. Now, ain't that the truth? Thank you, Mr. Wilson. Oh, just call me Fort Whit. Fort Whit. And you too, Mr. Mayor, because Fort Whit is going to be a very important name to you. Now, let me ask you one thing. You're going to have a campaign rally, right? Well, we do have plans. I know you got plans, but it ain't big enough. Because I can see in your plans you don't have fun with Wilson. Well, I appreciate that. You appreciate it. The people are going to appreciate it. You ever heard me sing? No, but I I, I really don't have the time. Oh, no, I'm not going to sing for you now. I've got to have at least a 10-piece band, at least 10 pieces. You ever heard my jokes make you fall on the floor? Well, I really hadn't intended to fall on the floor. Go ahead, Mr. Wilson. Tell us one of your good jokes. Oh, you better get ready to fall on the floor and hoop and holly and carry on, because that's what always happens. Uh, look, brother, I got a lot of things on my mind. Oh, go ahead, Mr. Wilson. Tell us a quick one. We could use a joke. Yes, ma'am. And like I was saying... You, whatever you want. I want to tell you about these two booger bears in the laundromat. Wait a minute. There's going to be a rally soon. You can entertain. I can? Only if you promise to tell us about the two booger bears in the laundromat. It's gonna be a big rally, right? Well, not really. Oh, you just saying that, Mr. Mayor. I bet you're gonna have a marching band, a line of course girls, a whole bunch of tap dancers, but mainly you gonna have Fort with Wilson. We're gonna have Fort with Wilson. That's right. Now, let me explain to you why I'm doing all this. I'm doing this because I feel as one color man to another, I got to help out when and how I can. You doing all you can to help the color, ain't you? Yes, I... I'm doing my part to help the colored. Like I say, I gotta help you out. I'm gonna help you out if you don't hurry up and get in here. I know that. Well, you got a deal, brother. You got a deal, brother. It don't even sound colored. A young piece of educated nothing sitting over there messing all over the colored people. And what am I doing? Sitting over here like a piece of salt pork philistine waiting on some used to be Pullman Porter to do his song and dance. And one is about as sad as the other. Come on in. It ain't never been locked. Lock no doors. Hey, Daddy Runch and Saw, running the store, stealing hair grease. Hey, Daddy Runch and Saw, what you gonna do about the police? What you gonna do when they whip your head? What kind of song can you sing when you're dead? Hey, Daddy Runch and Saw, tell me what you gonna do. Mmm, sister, great. What you want, brother? Ooh, I wanna tell you, I'ma do it, do it, do it, do it. Indeed, I'ma do it, do it. Wow, I'ma do it. Twenty. 30, 40,000 people watching old Fort Worth do it. You see me act up, carry on, all that kind of stuff. You get yourself ready for a show tonight. You and all the rest of people. I don't know how many going to be there, but they tell me it's going to be standing room. Yeah. How they say in show business, Greg? Standing room. Standing room only. See, Grace, you don't know nothing about no show business, but that's all right. Yeah, but how much further we got to walk? Our beach time. Look like we could have got a taxi or a bus or something. Oh, no, we can't do that. No, walking helps you. It takes all the worry off your mind, the butterflies out your stomach. I don't care how many 30, 40,000 people going crazy over you tonight. But I'm going to do that no good water just like the Lord did Lazarus. And ever so I leave on top of his head, he's gonna say yours truly, great. Oh, no. 
Come on, Grace. Come on. Oh, Grace, look, we're coming to the church. Big yeah. church, too, Grace. Sure is. Dog, look at that. Boy, don't you worry about no waters. Son, what I do here tonight, boy, he gonna be so proud of me. Boy, he'll do anything I say. Quit if I say so. So don't worry about no waters. Come on, Grace, we going into this church. I look. Turn around. Let me brush your coat off. Now don't go dancing in the church. That's a sin. Oh, I got a surprise in keeping with the Lord. Hey, Grace, look. What did I say right up there? Tonight, campaign rally for welcome gay water. That's your guest entertainer. What with Phil? Take my arm, girl. Now you walking with a star. <laughs> Sure, don't let these churches fool you. Now, 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 they pull plenty of people. They probably quiet saying prayers or getting their picture took. Uh, yeah. the radio people gonna be there, television too. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the Aaron part mm, do what they're doing. It say right in here. Now, wait a minute. You sure you ready? All those years I've been waiting, all those railroad years, 30 years, and 14 days, you ask me, am I ready? Well, go ahead, well, come, come on. Good God. Oh, please don't use his name in vain. Not right here in the church. <coughs> go ahead. Go ahead. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. What you gonna do when the show close? Hey, big dancing boy. What you gonna do with your shiny toe? You gonna tap down the alley to your face, floor around. Sit by yourself and drink day old. Running in the stove, stealing head grease. Hey, daddy, aren't you someone? What you gonna do about the police? What you gonna do when they whoop your head? What kind of song can you sing when you're dead? Hey, daddy, aren't you Tell me what you gonna do, big dancing boy. What you gonna do, Mr. Funny Man? Tell me what you gonna do. Ah, long go ahead, long go ahead. Don't mean nothing. Hand a couple more clothes in, son. Maybe that's how they do things nowadays. I don't know. A colored man's got to do a whole lot of strange things nowadays to make a dollar. But let him go ahead. 
At least it's going to make some money. I ain't heard tell of too many colored millionaires of you. Maybe one or two. But I'm going ahead. More power to them. God knows white folks lied and stole long enough to get on top. But somehow, I wish we didn't have to do it. We ought to have more sense in the first place. At least more goodness. But let them go ahead. Let them go ahead. Don't mean nothing. Not a thing. Damn it! Oh, did you hurt yourself, honey? No, I hurt myself. Damn rotten steps. Rotten steps. This rotten house. This rotten block. This rotten everything around here. You need some help? No, I don't need no help. Oh, excuse me. I'll let her alone. We ain't got nothing to do with nothing over there, no how. I need some help. What in the hell I need to help with you people for? Who you, who you gonna help? You need care packages. Watch your steps, sister. <laughs> Living here in this scum and filth. Have you seen my house? I mean, my real house is so fine. And you know something? I got people like you who wait on me. Oh, no. Yes. They say, Miss Criola, what you want? Miss Criola, what you need? Your hair so pretty, Miss Criola. Your skin so creamy, don't you know? Give me a couple of more clothespins. Clothes clothespins? What, what are they for? <laughs> to hang up the clothes. Why don't you have a dryer? I have a dryer. That did it. That blame it, that did it. Don't you don't say nothing about my clothes, you hear? You don't know nothing about me. Don't you know I'll write you a new name in a minute? You don't talk about my washing, my drying. All right, man. You don't talk about it this morning, the near the mom morning. You tell her, Grace, none of your that she's so smart. My, my clothes are beautiful. I don't need no dryer. All I need is take my fish and duck half of your brain down. Don't you dare put your hands on me. Try no hands. I'm going to use my feet. Baby, I'm going to stomp you. Grace. That's right. Tell her, sister. Don't she come over oh, here. Grace. Oh, I'm coming over there. Quit now, Grace. Listen. You talk about my clothes and my sweet man, Henry Grimes, and he was crazy about my washing, especially his shirt. Hey, oh, Mr. Crazy. Stay over there, you old... No, my husband died in this scum and filth, and I'm coming over there. Get out of here. You better get out of here. I'm going to go. I can't. I can't. And then I'm going to stop that lying husband of uh, you. Get her, Grace. Come on, get her. Come back here, Grace. And then I'll tell the whole world. And Baltimore, too. Just what I know good nothing you got for a husband. You mess with my husband, I'll mess with your Grace. Get out of here. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead and hit me. By. Hit my head. Hit it. You better get out of here. Now, listen, y'all cut this out. Well, why don't you stop it? I'm not going to get in between two old evil color women. I might be old, but I ain't no fool. I'm going to call the police. You best call a doctor. No, I'm going to call the police. Go ahead. Call the police. I'm going to tell them everything I know about that Welton J. Walter. And Grace knows plenty, baby. Tell the truth, Grace. I'm telling the truth. You know what I had done to this house? Do you know what was the point was? Tapped. I had it tapped. That's what I had done to it. And your old man is just running in this race to help that no good mayor. And all that mayor is running for is the money. And he's going to get it. Just as soon as he can fool them poor colored people out of their votes. 
And you know what that means to call people, uh, whatever your fool name is? That means that your man is fooling the colored people. And the only reason the good Lord don't strike him down is because I'm going to strike him down first. Come on, poor boy. Come on. I want to see Wealth J. Waters. Now, gentlemen, the only reason that I've brought Mr. Waters here this afternoon is to confirm our pledge that he will indeed be rewarded for his uh, efforts on our behalf. Moreover, he's supremely qualified to head our urban renewal program. Welton, you have what, two law degrees? Yes, two. I have a master's in labor law. Wonderful. So you see, gentlemen, as I've told you many times before, we're not dealing with... I want to get in there. Don't you know who I am? We're not dealing here with a mediocre politician, but rather with a man who has decided to play ball. A decision that I might add is rather critical to the mayor's re-election. Don't you tell me where I can't go! Now, uh, of course, we all realize that is black. But I think we can ignore that. He has. He has risen in his profession. What's more, he's honest. He's reliable, he's responsible, he's respectable. The three R's, which I, as a campaign manager, must always... <laughs> Gentlemen, this is a... Uh... Baby, you don't know what they're gonna do. You don't know. Oh, but you gotta listen to me. You gotta listen. Tell him to listen to me. He's gotta listen to me. Oh, well, you gonna hurt me. You come on, for Christ's sake. Come on. You gotta listen to me. Well, you don't know what they're gonna do. your best all over you, didn't he? Didn't he? <laughs> and, th and just think, that old snippy butt, uh, Miss Norton, tried to make a fool out of me. She sure did. And they're gonna pay. Ha, <laughs> baby, they're gonna pay. They're gonna pay, cause Great Chief Dale Drive is done spoke. Shut up, just shut up. They found out about you. Those little old-timey niggas, they found out. I told you to shut up. No, Daddy. I'm glad they found out. Now you will be on nothing. You won't be able to use me anymore. You won't be able to use me anymore. You shut your mouth. You won't. Oh, I shut it for you. You won't be able to use me anymore. Shut up. Ah! You know what I felt like, Grace? I felt like a fool. I know you did. A natural fool. Standing there in that church made me feel like a fool. A fool in church. Yeah. After I said to him, 20, 30, 40,000, he said, yeah, plenty of people, brother. And had the nerve to call me brother. And you know what you should have done right then? God forgive me. But you should have went over there and busted him right in the mouth. But it ain't too late. 
An eye for an eye. Ain't that the truth? And that goes for that yellow. Uh, 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 watch your mouth, Grace. Yeah, I'll class enough to make you sick. Don't you dare act like you're gonna hit me! <laughs> you wanna swell up my pretty little thin lips. That's what you like about me, isn't it? My thin lips, my narrow nose, my light skin, and my good hair. All I care about is going down the train. All I work for. White man will let you do what you want to do. After all you did for him. After all those sittings you never sat down in. After everything you've done for the white man. He's not going to let you do what you want to do. We have to go inside. I'm on his side. You up, you don't get in this house. Come on in here. Perhaps we can chat for a moment. Yeah, we go and chat. Yes, sir. I got one thing to tell you. You going to be the mayor of Baltimore. Oh, thank you. There's constituents like this. Wait, 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 don't be called no by no constituent. Don't nobody know what that means. Let's get out of here. If you go, I'm going with you. I tell you that. Haven't you done enough already? No, I ain't done enough. No, she ain't done enough. Like I said, you going to be the mayor. That's right. Wait a minute. How's he going to be the mayor? Let's get out of here. You got one more time to raise your voice in my house. You hear? Not about being the mayor. No, wait a minute, Mrs. Uh, what? Uh... Uh, Grimes. Grace T. Dale Grimes, that's the name. Mrs. Grimes, being elected mayor is a highly complicated matter. I'm going to highly complicate you in the seat of your butchers if you don't listen to what I say and sit down. Well, I, well, I, I, thank you, I... Help your wife. Oh, you should have let me... Ah, oh, shut up. I got plenty for you to do later. And I'm getting back to you, Walter. I'm gonna tell you one thing. Grace T. Dale Grimes knows all that she wants to know about you. And you gonna get that $10 million when I cut some more teeth. And you know when that's going to be. All you're going to get is one more chance. So you know about that? She knows about it. Yeah, she knows about it. And I knew about it way before I come to show you this. I am fucked with Sal. Oh, I'm sorry. Now, listen. It's not what I know. It's what I want to know. And what I want to know is if you're a man enough to be honest with the people. That's what I want to know. So I should just come out and tell the people everything? That's just what I mean. That's what she mean. Well, I think. I ain't asking you what you think. But Mrs. Grimes. You can do it, Welton. Just think what good it'll do to get all the rotten poison out of both of us. You got to do it, Sonny. People ain't no fools no more. The only type of fool that you can fool is a fool. And people ain't gonna be fools no more. And neither am I, Mrs. Grimes. I don't know why you took the time to bring me in here. But I'm thankful that you did. I thank you. I don't want no thanks, son. I want one of them things that they give you when you buy a new fridge there. What is that they give you for it with? Uh, a guarantee. A guarantee. That's just what I want. And for, for what's happening in my Bible, I'm going to show you how to get it. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Here, yeah, put your hand on this. 
wasn't uh, really a Bible. I, well, uh, but put your hand on like Grace says. Yeah, before I cut it off and leave your hand on here and send you on home. Repeat at me. I hereby swear. <laughs> I hereby swear. To be the mayor of Baltimore. Be the mayor of Baltimore. No ifs, ands, and maybes about it. No ifs, ands, and maybes about it. And do as Grace T. Dale Grimes says me to do. And do as Grace T. Dale Grimes says me to do. If I don't? If I don't? No telling what she's liable to do to me. <laughs> no telling what she's liable to do to me. Amen. Amen. No, don't kiss me, honey. You might start something that you can't stop. <laughs> and now here's your new campaign man. Who, him? Who, me? Yes, you. Yes, you new campaign man. And I'm going to start right now making you the mayor of Baltimore. <laughs> I'm going to start. I got a telephone call to make first before, before I do anything else. I said, Take like I get so tired so quick. Everybody think that I'm gonna let all this stuff be going on while I'm alive. We got another thought coming. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I'm gonna get me a pair of pies and fix this woman, the boys. Grace who? Grace T. Dale Grimes. What kind of Grace did you think it was? I didn't know. It could have been the kind of Grace one says when one eats. Now, is that the kind of Grace that would call you on the telephone? Well, you called me, so I suppose that... I'm going to suppose you if you don't shut up and listen to what I got to say. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. Now, listen to me good. I want to know who do they work but a mayor. A mayor? A mayor is a horse, a lady horse. No one would do day work for a lady horse. I knew I shouldn't have called this woman. Listen, uh, Larry, I'm talking about the mayor of Baltimore. Oh, well, you shouldn't talk about the mayor of Baltimore. He's a very important man with a lot of responsibility. Now, nah, Clarice, I'm going to try it. One more time. Who do they wait for the mayor? Well, why didn't you say that? Who does they wait for the mayor? Why, don't you know? No. Who? Oh, it's Nadine. Nadine does they wait for the mayor. Nadine. That's the same one that's saying the hot part in just a close walk. Oh, no. Not this. Nadine that sings the alto in Come Me Disconsolate. But she used to sing second solo in Yield Not to Disturb. <laughs> and before that, she sang the lead on Ooh, Boy, And before that, she sang the high part in a Just a closer walk with a lead. The high part in just a closer walk what I ask you. If that was the same Nadine that sang that song? Yes, that's Nadine that waits for the mayor. <laughs> All right, don't say nothing else. Just listen. Tell Nadine to get sick on Tuesday and send me in her place. Send you? Yes, that's all. Don't ask no questions. I don't meddle in your business, don't meddle in mine. <laughs> Bye. Oh, that woman had made coffee nervous. I ain't never seen like she run you crazy. What y'all standing here for? Let's start the campaign. Yeah, like I'm the campaign manager, like Grace said. So let's get over your house and strategize. Because I put a lot of years in show business and I did a lot of managing. Well, I was going to manage Snake Ips Tucker. Boy from right here in Baltimore. Yeah. Then I was going to manage Bullfrog Shorty, a little short comedian, and I that great contortionist, Jigsaw Jackson. Don't talk about no managing. Wait a minute. If I'm going to run for mayor and do it seriously, I'm going to run. I'm going to run this campaign right. If I've been wrong, I've been wrong. But that's the past. 
Now, this lady has shown me something I should have seen a long time ago. And now that I've seen it, I'm taking over. I'm going to run for mayor, and that's all there is to it. And my past is my past. And I don't care if I pass for a left-footed bulldog. <laughs> and neither do I, baby. I'm going to tell these people right here one thing. We're going to run a campaign like nobody ever heard of. We're going to win. And when we do, I may be the first politician in history to keep his word. And my word is honesty. Do you hear me, Miss Grace? I hear you, son. But I think I'd better hit Listen, somebody tell that new cleaning girl to knock off that singing. You can't get a damn thing done around here. Where's that thing from those fairies in the Human Relations Committee? And tell that friggin' McCloskey he can't have that building unless he forks over like everybody else. So what? He got a hundred grand for that last deal. What did I get, huh? Nothing. Well, the hell with him, and you too. Oh, excuse me. Yeah. Oh, excuse me, yeah, Mr. Mayor. Yeah. What? Well, tell him anything. What do I care? Listen, George, let me tell you one thing. You know why I'm pushing that poverty program? Because my boys rake off 60% of that good green Washington money. That's why. And I'll tell you something else. Redevelopment-wise, once the Negroes are out, they're out. Who the hell ever heard of finding a place to put them back into? You know what that costs, George? Money, money, money. Well, leave them in the... Listen, girlie, will you knock off that singing hat? Yes, sir, Mr. Mayor, yes, sir. Excuse me. Look, all you gotta do is to tell them that you're building houses for them. Break the ground, have a ceremony, call the union, have a strike. Well, so what if Collins finds out? He's nothing but a liberal fairy liberal that's what anyway we got this waters guy to take the colored vote away from him liberal fairy liberals need the colored vote to win no colored vote no win now listen joy you know those buildings over on east druid hill there's going to be a strike in 10 days over of pennsylvania avenue five days yeah yeah i know the election is in three weeks but we started the work that's the what of course there's nobody here. Would I be talking to you like this if there was anybody here? Don't be a fool. All right, get cracking, George. Yeah? Sir, your wife is on your private phone. Hello, honey. Look, honey, I... I, I all right, sweetness. Yes, Candy. Ah, uh, honey. Yes, sweetheart, I'll be right there. Yeah, kissy, kissy to you, too. Mwah. Mwah. Somebody get rid of that private phone. Mm -hmm. All I want to know, brother, I'm going to fix your bonds. Bet that. Nothing but some old colored woman that did that with a head like a goat. Didn't have no sense at all. But I'm gonna fix him. I'm gonna fool him. I'm gonna fool him. I'm gonna hang him if I can. Wait till he finds that out. Let me wipe the fingerprints off. That's cool. That's cool. Just don't know. He's got a raving drunk for a wife. So what? 
You think my old lady's a teetotaler? Oh, come on now. Hey, come on, nothing. This guy's got to pull a colored vote. And it's your job to see that he... Yeah? There's a man here to move a filing cabinet. What filing? Oh, yeah, the cleaning girl said something about it. All right, send a member. Tell him to be quick. I'm telling you, we've got a problem on our hands. Oh, he's okay, but I'm worried about his wife. Uh, pardon me, gentlemen. Yeah, yeah, hurry it up, huh? Now, look, Jim, you know as well as I do that if we lose the colored vote to Collins, we might... The only thing I care about is that Welton J. Waters does what he's paid to do and nobody finds out. Besides that, Jim, I've got another job for you. What's that? Pardon me, gentlemen. Keep my record clean. Your record's clean, Frank. Good evening, gentlemen. You better be. That's the least of your problems. <laughs> God, there's enough in here to hang him. Two or three times. I don't know much about this. But I know if the mayor has big interest in the newspapers and everything, no one is ever gonna know about this. You know one thing, honey? <laughs> you ain't dumb. You just ain't as smart as me. Because I got the answer. Blaney Stokes. Blaney Stokes? Oh, don't you remember that boy on the train that didn't want no chicken? Oh, yeah. That's the boy. He's at Morgan State College. Now, I want you all to listen. I want you to listen to Grace Good. Because I mean that word I say. <laughs> I've got a revolution to deal with. I'm gonna revolution you if you don't do as I tell you to do. Now, you, I want everybody that you can find and have them in this building tomorrow. I don't know how you're gonna get them here, but all I want you to know, I want them here. Well, I don't know. Well, I know, because I'm the campaign manager. And I know what you got to do if you're gonna call yourself colored, black, Negro, or us. Now, young man, what you gonna do? Yeah, yeah, w w what you got on your mind, son? Gonna do it. Yeah, we gonna do it. All right, we gonna do it. Why we gonna do it? You telling me we gonna do it. I know we gonna do it. Listen, you young people. When I was in school, I skied on white mountain slopes and I drank green beer on St. Patrick's Day. I was in another world in time. But what I did not do then, I will do now. I will stop them from tearing down our homes and leaving our families stranded. Right on. Yes. I will stop them from arresting us and letting their own go free. I will stop them from lying about us in the news. Right on. And I shall find ways to bring us work. I will build schools so that we can be educated as we should be educated. And I will, with your help and God's help and the help of our humanistic nature, be the mayor of all the people of this city. <laughs> Yeah.
This, this is my wife, my wife. They tried to use my wife against me. She denied her blackness once, and so did I, more recently than she. But she and I have been cured of all of that. Not by a radical movement, not by a history course, not by relevancy, and not by any established movement, but by a lady who lives next door to us. That lady made me do what I am doing now. And I am blessed to know her. What she made of me, she will make of all of us. She is what we all must be. If we are to be anything, she is. Grace Teasdale Bryant. so glad that Walter is going to be the mayor. He's going to be the mayor because you are going to make him the mayor. <laughs> you know how you're going to do that? You're going to take all that stuff that I know on that line mayor. Yes, he's on the line. The truth ain't in him. <laughs> I want you to take all that stuff and tell everybody from here to kingdom come and buy my place there. Yeah. I want to do you understand me. Yeah. Them folks got everything. Radios, television, newspapers. We ain't got much of that to speak about. But one thing we got is a mouth. <laughs> ain't nobody nowhere got no more mouth than we got. <laughs> when we want to talk about somebody, maybe we talk about somebody. <laughs> when we want to hoop and holler, we hoop and holler till the lights go out. When we want to sing, shout, signify, or testify, we do that too. Why? Because we got a mouth. I want you children to know what I'm talking about. <laughs> now, you take me. I ain't nothing but a old church sister. Fry some chicken. Cook a good pot of green. <laughs> but you children are something else. I ain't nothing but the enigma. You children, you're the leg and the thigh and the dark meat of God's great chicken. And I want you to listen to Grace Teasdale Grind. You hear me? You all don't know me, but I'm your mother, honey. Oh, I mean, I got a daughter in New York City. Don't see her very much. I had a son, but he was in the war. And uh, one day, one August afternoon, I got a telegram. 
first telegram I ever got. And I made up my mind that you were my children. You all are my children. And my children do what I tell them to. And I'm telling you to use those brains that God put in your head and go on out and turn this town upside down. Tell everybody that Walden is going to be the mayor. I'm glad. I'm so glad that Walden is going to be the mayor. Listen to me. I'm so glad. Walter's gonna be the man. I'm so glad that Walter's gonna be the man. I'm so glad Walter's gonna be the man. Singing glory, hallelujah. Walter's gonna be the man. Sing it, children. I'm so glad. Sing it, honey. I mean, we must have people who are in office. Please, to Great Great you can do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. I can buy some ticket, baby. Great to have you play a ticket. Go ahead and do it. Do it. Do it. Make him the mayor. We can do it, children. You all can do it. Do it. Lead me on, Lord, let me stand. 
حاجت با گل نفیاتی هم شوید take you and Mr. Forthwith down to the headquarters. You the police? What? Oh, no. We mean the campaign headquarters. Oh. Oh, poor word been... <laughs> he been down there long ago, three or four hours. Well, yes, ma'am, but what about you? Oh, I've got to get these train beans ready, Connie. Well, Miss Grace, the election's liable to go either way. Well, either way it goes, I've got to get these string beans ready. But, Miss Grace, if it wasn't for you, like, nothing would be happening. And if it wasn't for me, it wouldn't be no string beans. But, Miss Grace, that man's liable to win this thing, and everybody's gonna want to know where you are. Oh, for goodness sake. Everybody know where I live. Now, go on out of here and let me alone. Yes, ma'am, but... No, but me, I'll... Good evening, Miss Grace. Good evening, Miss Grace. Wait a minute. Come back here. I want you to come back after everything's over. We can get some of these string beans. All right. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. And the sweet potato pie is going to be ready to cook. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Ain't neither one of you look like you eat right. You must don't feed you all good up to that school. <laughs> you know, I want you to come back here and I win or lose. Cause the Lord don't stop the world on no lecture night, you know. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma All right. Good now, evening. good evening. Good night. Night, boy, going to college and everything. Now, uh, oh, don't take the door with you, please. What's the matter with them boys? Do they think I'm going down to that place? With them, they must be some kind of fool. I'm tired. I done done enough. Let them take it as they can. I ain't no chippy. Huh? You know one thing? A few more days like today, and I ain't gonna have no days left at all. I can't do no more, can I, Jesus? They must think I'm 17. I was once, but I ain't no more. Maybe I'll turn the radio on and listen to the news. But you know what it is. And all it is and all it's going to be. I think I'll just put my hand on the radio and think to you for a little while. Just a little before I find out what Walter J. Walters is doing. Thank 
you. My wife, Creole. <laughs> Champagne, Mrs. Waters. Oh, no, I don't need that anymore. <laughs> Ain't that seven? And here's my campaign manager, Fortwick Wilson. <laughs> I told you we could do it because I believe we could do it. There's nothing, nowhere, no time, no place better than doing it. Fortwick Wilson, watch your mouth. And people I want to no, call that's, that's the all right, Fortwick. <laughs> well, okay, you the mayor. Yeah, calm down, Fortwick. Oh, you mess up again. Uh, let me say this. I'm gonna be your mayor for a good while. <laughs> We're gonna have honesty. Grace Teasdale Grimes taught me that. Where is Mrs. Grimes? She's fixing some string beans. <laughs> we want Grace! We want Grace! Grace ain't coming. Grace ain't coming. Grace done got tired. That's all she is good. My goodness alive. What did they expect me? Let me go first and turn that radio off. And then my black bill will be umpteen dollars. Yeah. Ain't going. You know, I got to get these beans on and, and, and get my chicken fried. And catch me, I'm gonna call her and see if she can't send me some potatoes out. It ought to get here. If she sends it out of mail. I'll be dead blame. Ain't that something? I declare, I declare, I declare. Telling you, sometime I believe it. We ain't good for nothing, only scrubbing floors and making up beds and shining shoes and picking beans and taking the money and praying Bolito in it. That's what we call it down home, Bolito. I hear you all call it the numbers. It's all the same thing. You want to break it as quick as the other one will. Well, oh my goodness. I'm telling you, I'm so tired, I don't know what to do. I declare, I believe the Lord must have made us on the eighth day. I do. Well, I must have done best for several while. Let me see, where was I at? The last page, Deuteronomy.